as you can see this is one of the main streets in Alicante and this is directly outside the market and uh, it's a it's a two lane each way street and uh, pretty busy I must admit and it, uh, it goes back to the port back to the beach There are plenty of buses that you can get to come to the market so that's not a problem if you want to get a bus or get a taxi but uh, lots of the major shops along here lots of the banks we're just going to walk around and um, anything that i see of interest i'll point out to you but you've got all the normal stuff here we had subway across the road you have lots of these little cafe bars on the street which is just as spain is it's uh it's the same in every town you go to it never changes I mean today, January the 11th, and it's between 11 and 12 degrees today, but uh, it's still not bad for walking around. In fact, it's good for walking around. So this is the principal theatre, or the theatre principal, whichever way you want to say it. And uh, it gives you on the outside all the things that are happening in the coming months. They have ballet, they have music, they have plays by the looks of it. So it's a good assortment of things to come and see if you're staying here. So this is the front of the theatre and it's similar, it's got all these hanging advertising placards and uh, it's got a grand place, these great big pillars and it goes right up. It looks very nice, not sure about inside because we can't get in there. The, the whole area here is very nice. You've got various businesses here. These trees are incredible. If you look at the roots, look at the, uh, the trunks, and in between you have a little bar. But, uh, this is just, uh, just incredible. So we're now on this esplanade and I think this must be the most photographed area in Alicante. It has over 6 million, 6 million marble tiles and you have these huts that are here all the year round. Some are open, some are not, but uh, it's a great walking area. And the tiles look absolutely fabulous and so do the palm trees all along i think it really is a lovely area
and coming up on the right hand side which you'll see in a minute is the auditorium and they have uh, they have performances throughout the year i would imagine more in the summer than the winter but it's called la concha and uh, this is somewhere you might want to come and see if there's any music going on when you visit depending on what time of year it is of course and across the road, over the main road, you have the marina. There are lots of hotels here to stay in. If you go to the link below the video, you can look at uh, what, video, what uh, hotels are available, at what prices, because obviously it alters all the time. But, um, it's worth looking before you book anywhere else. Booking.com is very good for hotels. So we're looking at the marina now, and there are a lot of very large boats in here. Obviously you'll have the smaller ones as well, but there are some very, very large ones. It really is a lovely day. We've had some really bad storms over the last few days. Lots of rain and snow in the higher, higher ground. But today it's, um, it's absolutely beautiful. There's a big casino here as well, which people like to visit. And then you've got a couple of hotels here in the background as well. So uh, you can be that close to the town centre and the beach. And this is another lovely walkway for exercise. Walk off those heavy lunches that you might be having when you're on holiday. But there's some beautiful boats. There's a beautiful bar, stroke restaurant here, Soho. And uh, sitting in there, you just look at the marina, which is, which is fabulous. I've actually been in there and it's, uh, it's very nice. And underneath that is a big car park for a few hundred cars, which is the best place to park because parking in Alicante is very bad. Like all major cities, 